So it's 8.04. I have to get my son ready for his doctor's appointment at 9 o'clock. Hopefully, I'm not in a rush or anything. I just already know what he's wearing. So I think I just got to put it on him. And the thing is, like, I literally just went to sleep. Like, I want to say an hour ago. Because he just did not want to go back to sleep. And there he is. Good morning. You ready? Come on. Come on. So yeah, here he is. Like I was saying, I think I think I was saying this, yeah. Like we just went to sleep. I barely went to sleep really. So hopefully afterwards, I don't know. He slept more than I did, definitely. He has six teeth and it looks like a seventh tooth is coming and like it's about to cut through. Bless you. It's about to cut through. And so he just been like back to back teeth and like the beginning of this year he had about four teeth or like the to the his third and fourth teeth were cutting through and then it just kept happening like out of nowhere just a fifth tooth the sixth tooth and now i think a seventh one so he just been teething and clingy because of it <coughs> bless you and like just so cranky like he only wants me he doesn't even want his dad and so it makes a lot of things harder right now I'm gonna go ahead and get him ready. So we didn't go to his appointment because we got new phones and my husband did not give them the new phone number, his new phone number. So they were calling yesterday three times. I think they said they were calling and nobody answered the phone, obviously. So they had to reschedule our appointment because his doctor wasn't there today. And that's just what they were just trying to that's what they were trying to tell us. But so I went through all of this for nothing. And it's like, I'm so tired and like, just mentally drained. And I'm just really sleepy. And I'm just really annoyed because it's just so much going on. So I just, I wanna cry, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. It's a problem when I do. His appointment is now next Tuesday. Cause this is his, this is his nine month appointment because he just turned nine months two days ago. Don't touch it. <laughs> and so now I'm sitting in the back seat with him because he would not stop crying. And I'm and I was thinking like, okay, maybe he's just like real sleepy. And yes, he is, but like now he's just up trying to see everything and. He won't even, like, he wanted to nurse for comfort, but then he just started being nosy. And uh, I just need him to go ahead, fall asleep, so we can just do what we got to do, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm so tired. And I don't, I don't think anybody understands that. Look at that man's, like, and Peach Joe and the help, please. People are so disrespectful. Oh, my God. Especially the trophies. Yeah, he got mad because I turned the camera on the other way. He can't see us no more. <laughs> what? What's the matter? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hopefully, I don't have a bad day. I really don't want to have a bad day. Like, I was having a good two weeks. And now it's like this week is just going right back down. <laughs> Luca. <laughs> Luca. Look, 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 look. Look at me. Look at mommy. Look. Look at me. <laughs> You're not even looking at me. You're just laughing. Look. Hey, honey bun. Hey, honey bun. Look, look, look. 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 Okay. Hey, kisses. Love you. I'm getting ready for, um, I have to dance at a funeral. And not gonna lie, I kind of wish I didn't say yes to it. I like that I'm doing something 
nice for someone but i just I don't want to do it anymore because my husband is working and he's the only person that can effectively watch our son. So I've been worried about that like all week. I don't know how he's gonna act at the funeral. Like I'm just gonna dance and go. Hopefully my mom just goes. Like I don't wanna stay there. I don't even know the person or the person who passed away. They just asked if I could come in, come and dance, so. That's what I'm gonna do. And so I'm gonna just do like a light makeup look and be on my way. So I'm all dressed. I, like I said, I'm, I don't know if I said it actually, never mind. But I'm not doing like a, like a real beat beat because I'm not even gonna be able to go to sleep um, after this funeral. My mom is taking me and my son to brunch. So, and my husband's gonna be at work. He doesn't get off till three. Um, but we're actually going to be with my mom until then. And then when my husband gets off and, you know, uh, we're all at home, I'm not going to be able to go to sleep still because, um, his mom is coming over and he has like a runny nose for some reason. And I don't like that. So I'm trying to fix that, but he will not let me fix it. <laughs> um, I need to get him dressed. Like, when I say I'm not trying to stay at this funeral, I am purposely dressed to not stay at this funeral. Like, I have on my fatigue pants, this crop top. Like, I'm completely prepared not to stay at this funeral so my mom can let us leave. Because I'm riding with her there. So I'm really not trying to stay. I don't know these people. But my mom is very talkative. She likes to be around in the mix and stuff like that. And... Me and my brothers, we don't get it. We wish she'd stop. People people really be doing my mom wrong sometimes because she is so like, like you know the type of person that's like so outgoing and they, they're an extrovert like to the T. Like they just talk to everyone. People that they should probably just like leave alone and like not even, like just leave it at a high and by type thing. She will not do that. Like, she will be cool with literally everyone. And then they do her wrong. And then it's like, it, it's annoying. Because then, like, me and my brothers get irritated. And the person does something out of pocket. And so we get into defense mode. And we're like, all right, like, you need to relax on our mama. Like, because <laughs> it, it can really be a problem. But let me get him dressed real quick. I need to try and get him dressed. I tried to do his hair, but I was like, nah, forget it, whatever. So I'm gonna get him dressed. So we're dressed. Like I said, I'm not doing his hair. I don't care. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm trying to mentally prepare okay. myself because really I haven't danced anywhere for real, for real, besides church in a long time. Because at one point it was just so many people asking my mom if like I could dance for like whatever event they got, like whether it's a funeral, um, a any kind of function or whatever and it was just so much for me to do at the time because like I was dancing not only was I dancing um there but I was dancing everywhere for like church like not only for church but but everywhere like if we get invited somewhere or something and so we have to dance and so I was one of the leaders I'm still a leader but I'm one of the leaders so, of course, I have to go, I have to choreograph, I have to do this and that. So, it was just so overwhelming at the time. So, my mom just started telling people no. And so, she was like, this time around, she was like, well, Karima, before you say no. <laughs> and she gave me, like, the rundown and everything. So, I was like, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it this time. Because it was just, it's so much. And, like, now that I am a leader, leader, like, like, we share responsibility over the ministry now, but now that I'm like a, a head leader and I also have a baby as well as the, one of the other leaders, like we have children now and like, it's just a whole lot to do. So I'm gonna do it today. Like we still, we have to dance tomorrow at our church, us leaders. And then we have to, I'm not, we're not gonna dance, but our kids, we have they have to dance next Sunday. So 
it's it's a lot right now. I'm trying to mentally prepare. We're dancing to um I'm dancing to Praises What I Do by Shekana Glory. And that is a nine minute song, but I am not doing the full nine minutes. Um the lady that I'm dancing for, like the the funeral or whatever, she asked if I could do the whole song, but I feel like a good compromise would be because I don't know if you know the song. At the beginning of the song, the first full minute, it's just him talking. Um, and then the last minute is talking again, basically. So I was thinking to just um, cut those two parts out. Start at um, around 114, 115 and end around 820. So uh, I feel like that would be like a good transition. And besides anybody trying to be at a funeral for extra time like because you know how they just be like all right keep your keep your words at like two minutes max you know what i mean so i'm not trying to take up a whole bunch of time i think me doing just that amount it's not going to be like i'm going to get we're going to get the point across basically it's not like i'm taking out half the song so i'm gonna see if we can do that um if not uh, i wish i had my uh like a pair of flags with me i could stop by the church to go get it but the funeral starts at 11 it's already 10. don't know if i'm gonna have enough time to do that because i don't even know what the church is um but i do have a veil i'm just saying this stuff like <laughs> if you know like praise dance and like worship tools and stuff yeah but i have a veil but i really wanted flags like this this song calls for flags if you're doing a solo so or just in general and she actually originally wanted me to wear white but i can't fit my white i could probably fit the palazzo pants but i can't fit a lot of the white so i can't wear white yeah i'm just gonna wear my my go-to so first of all who said that man can sing yes <laughs> he should have set that one out and then Maxine. Maxine. He used to go with Maxine, and they both was married. That's um, and also, obviously, niggas ain't been to church because <laughs> her brother was really pulling me. No, no, no. I'm not talking about. Her. Was, oh, the hats. That yeah. too. The hat, yeah. But there was one who had a whole uh, firearm in his pants. Yeah, yeah. They was really. And now we went to a crip funeral. Oh my god. <laughs> I was, look, I thought they was wearing blue because that was his favorite color. <laughs> this is ghetto. Okay, we're back home. Obviously, I didn't record the funeral because, like, who does that? But, y'all, we went to a crib funeral and I, I swear on everything, I thought that man's favorite color was blue. I did not know that it was a crib funeral. And then one of his family members or friends, whatever, had a firearm i think that's what i could say up here firearm in his pants in the church i said yo he would have to get up out of here like don't that is so disrespectful not only to to the family or to the rest of the family but like to god like why you and then just when he, the guy was preaching the eulogy, I had to step out because my son, he was just talking too much and I, I didn't want to be disrespectful. And even though he's a baby, nobody was like really worried about it. But I just stepped out and was rocking him because he was sleepy. And I see all these niggas come out the funeral during the eulogy. I said, y'all really is some, some heathens. Like, come on now. So yeah, we didn't go to brunch. I don't know if I said it we were supposed to, but we didn't go to brunch. But my husband and I, we just got home with Luca. And we about to lay down and go to sleep because he's tired. He just got off work. I'm tired. Luca's probably so tired. I just have to change his diaper. And I'm about to go to sleep because my I'm so sleepy that my eyes are heavy and they hurt. But so the letter from a few vlogs ago. I sent it today because like I said, there was something I was trying to remember to put in there and I could not remember it and I was really trying to remember it. Um, but I, I just said forget it today and I just sent it. And I really wanted to send it like late at night so I could just go to sleep and not deal with it. But I was like, all right, I'll just send it at one something PM. 
And so not even five minutes later, that person texted me. was like, hey, um, I, I didn't read everything. I'd rather talk to you about this. I, I They called me. I just don't want to. I don't want to write at this very second. Maybe tomorrow or just not right now. I'm too tired to do that. And then, like, I typed out that whole thing. You gonna read what I said. You gonna read what I said. I ain't type it out for nothing. So, we'll see what happens with that. Luca, come here. That's his laugh. <laughs> come here. Come here. See, he was doing all that. He was doing that in the funeral. No, we're not doing that. He does that in church, too. In church, it's, it's like, all right, but these people trying to mourn, and you being you being rude. You're being rude. We don't even know these people. Like, oh, and it did, um, it did work out, too, with the song, like, me cutting out certain parts. Um, first of all, she didn't even know the song was that long, so <laughs> that's okay. When she, um, came up to us, she was like, hey, I told them to start at, like, a one minute, and my bride said 114, 115, so I was like, yeah, start right there. And at 8.20, she said it's eight minutes. Really, it's longer. <laughs> but we did that. It worked out. Um, glory to God. All, all the glory go to him. Um, I'm just glad that I was, he was able to use me for that family today. Because they did let me know how, how they felt and how they liked it. And all that. So I'm glad I was able to be that for them. Um, this is the last thing that I dance for in a little while, as God says otherwise. So, yeah. I'm about to go take a nap. You're going to be here now? Are you going to be here? Are you going to let them talk? I Man, it's almost over. Are you going to let them talk? Or are you going to keep talking over there? So we just got out of church and I didn't um, vlog this morning because uh, we were just uh, rushing. Like I was supposed to wake up at seven, but I woke up at 7.30. I, I needed that ex extra 30 minutes basically. And I wasn't expecting to have to rush. I thought I was gonna have everything down pat, I had my outfit, everything, but it's okay. But this morning was like so, rough for me because so I had to dance and my back was already hurting like I feel like because of the epidural I just occasionally get back pains and so um my back isn't hurting as bad as it was the last time it was hurting like last time I could not move uh I could barely hold my child like it was hurting so bad but uh, this time it was like just a little bit, but I was still able to dance. I was trying to get ready, um, trying to figure out, you know, what we were doing. And my son, um, he slept half of the night already. The rest of the night he just, he would not go back to sleep. He just wanted to play and stuff. So obviously he's still tired. He's teething. And then, um... I thought that's what was wrong with him only. When we were in a church, I was rocking him and church didn't start yet at this point. Um, I'm just rocking him, trying to calm him down and he wasn't calming down. So he started like screaming and crying, crying so bad that he just had a snotty nose. Like he was crying so bad. And normally I'm so good at trying to figure out what's wrong with him, but for the life of me, I could not figure out what was wrong with him this time. And so that was like really frustrating. And I was literally on the verge of tears. Like I tried to nurse him. I even took him outside so he can get like a fresh breeze on him. And uh, maybe he'll fall asleep that way. He just was not having it. And I was like, is it his teething? Like, like it, it was, it was still all of that. But at the end of it, um, he accidentally kicked off one of his shoes and he immediately calmed down 
So I was like, okay, well maybe it's his shoes. I took off the other one, literally sleep in five minutes. Not even. And it just, it was like, bro, this whole time, almost crying for, for an hour, this whole time it was just shoes. And like he never, I didn't think to, uh, I didn't think like, oh, it could be his shoes. Cause he never act like that with his shoes on. Like he's, he, Luca, he doesn't mind shoes. He doesn't mind hats. Like he's, he's not the type a baby that really cares about that stuff. The only thing I would really say he cares about is he hates sleeping with the blanket on him. Um, he would rather, cause he, he's hot natured, just like me, just like his dad. So he doesn't like anything on him like that, but just regular, you know, um, out and about, he does not care. And so it was just like really bothering me that I just, I could not figure that out. And I really feel like it was an attack on, on me because I was supposed to, well, I did dance, but like I was about to dance and I was already in pain. So I, it just felt like an attack from the enemy honestly and truly like it was just because it was just too intense like I text my husband and was because he works on the weekends now or occasionally mostly and I was like I just at this point I don't want to come to church anymore without you here because I can't do it like I was literally It was so terrible, but no, I'm still going to go to church. I'm not going to let that um, get to me like that. It was just, it was so intense, and he's never cried like that before. It was, I didn't know what to do. And I was really about to sit there and cry. But I was trying to hold it in, like, it was so, I just feel it in my throat. Like, it was so heavy. So... But he, he did calm down. He did his normal, like, talking during the service. Like all the um, the babies be doing. Hey, what is he staring at? Anyway, like all the babies be doing. You know, they just be in there talking. So he did that. And then, like, he started getting a little bit cranky again. So, of course, like I always do, I take him out the service so I can rock Because I don't need him doing all that crying and whining. And we in the front, like please it's just especially on days that i have to dance it it just is so hard for me it is so hard like mentally for me because i just i need his dad there like because my brother he he my son um definitely does well with my brother he really does but it's just sometimes he just be acting crazy and I just I need my husband there and I can't really do anything about that so it just it it'd be a lot he's back there sleeping now I'm so tired but I got stuff to do in the house um <clears throat> and I'm just so sleepy I'm so sleepy bro I feel like I haven't got like proper rest in so long it's like and like I'm laying there, it's like I'm not keeping myself up. That's the thing. I'm laying there and I don't feel any drowsiness even like and I'll just I don't know, but then as soon as he wakes up and starts like, you know, getting playful and stuff and that's when all of a sudden I'm tired now. Like when he's up and awake and not ready to go back to sleep. So now I have to stay up even longer and wait for him to get sleepy again. Like it's just been a cycle for the past couple of days like that and I just can't wait till it passes and he's back on his regular sleeping schedule because he can sleep through the night now but it's just random when he just has those moments where he just does not want to sleep through the night and it's like and obviously I'm the one that has to be up with him so but I am gonna cook later hopefully probably I need to I need to eating once a day is because uh, like it's a cycle like I'm up all night and I sleep until like four o'clock and then um so obviously when I get up that's the first time I'm eating and then I'm not hungry again 
like I'm just I'm not hungry again and I, I eat little like like snacks and stuff I, I love to keep fruit in the house and um, I'm constantly drinking water so I guess that's why I feel full but I'm not I'm just eating once a day and I can't be doing that like I need to eat more than that but it's just the sleeping schedule if I'm up I'm gonna eat oh trust and believe I'm eat but there's nothing wrong with that it's not wrong with my appetite I'm gonna eat me some food for real here he comes so I will see y'all when we get back to the house it's 2 33 in the morning I had randomly got up at like one something because I got like this sudden urge to clean and because I've been trying to uh clean the house for like almost a month and I just felt like I wasn't getting anywhere because it was just like I was cleaning the same things over and over and I couldn't move on. So I had like this burst of energy randomly and I just, I got up, I, well I waited a little bit. I didn't want to get up and then my son just randomly needed me, like wakes up or something. So uh, he actually did end up waking up and I took care of him, changed him, all that fed him and um put him in his little carrier and I got up and I got to work and honestly I didn't even realize like I was watching I normally watch YouTube videos to time myself I didn't even realize it only took me maybe an hour to even clean up like when I tell y'all how much I actually had to clean with like cleaning with a baby strapped to you is actually it takes longer so the fact that I did this in an hour, I'm pretty proud of myself. And it's not like clean, clean right now. It looks uh, lived in. Like there's still things here and there, basically. Like his shoes, my husband's shoes are still over there. Um, I still have to mop the floor. There's still like a couple dishes in there because my son, like whenever I'm holding him in the baby carrier, he and I'm washing dishes, he gets like really... Um, fidgety because he wants me to like move around so I'm actually surprised that he let me clean majority of the dishes because I didn't put them in a dishwasher I have to clean the dishwasher out um it's about that time now so I cleaned the majority of the dishes so I'm not even mad at like it's probably like five dishes in there right now I'm not even mad about that those can sit in there until tomorrow I did a lot actually like I got um the kitchen living room and the bathroom all like a quick clean and then i have to do the laundry room i'm not going to do that tonight i'm just going to go lay down but i was actually supposed to cook myself something because i'm actually pretty hungry but i'm just going to go lay down um probably just eat a snack or something i'm pretty happy about this hopefully i stay happy i will probably see you guys later today you know when it's actually decent and actually tomorrow so yeah, I'll see y'all then. I said I was going to see y'all yesterday, but I didn't get to. But we're at his appointment for his nine-month checkup. I don't even know if y'all can hear me, but he is getting shots today. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but yeah, what? he just acted up so bad because he hates when we have to take all his clothes off and um, put him naked on the scale because, you know, it's kind of cold in here. So... He does not like that at all, but he's fine now. I'm over here trying to fill out forms and he's messing with everything. So, no, he don't even like when they um check for his height and his and his head size. He hates it so much, so he's gonna hate these shots. Aren't you? I already know. He's not allowed to have his clothes on just yet. So, I know it's gonna be a problem trying to put his clothes back on. Even though he made the his face is clearing up too. I'm so happy about it. It's so much better now. Ain't it? Ain't it? And he scratched himself right there the other day. But it's clearing up too. Luca. Hey. <laughs> Y'all see his little teeth? He got all, <laughs> he got all, the, all his teeth coming in. Seven teeth so far. So we're just sitting here waiting for his doctor to come in. So don't know how long that will take, but I do know his next appointment is probably when he turns one. So I'm just this this is probably his last appointment before he turns one. But hey, but I'll see.
see you guys in a minute. So I'm back home, or we're back home, and my husband is also home. So I just got the shower, but he he hated his shots. Like I really had to restrain him so that she can give him a, like one little shot, one little shot. And I know you're supposed to uh, restrain him anyway, but it was like harder than before. I couldn't. I mean, you're not really supposed to record in there anyway. But for me to even sneak a video. Like, I couldn't even do that. Like, I was so uh, busy with him. Like, he he was not having it at all. He was just so pissed off. And by the time he got back in the car, as y'all could see, he fell asleep. Or did y'all see? I can't remember. But he fell asleep, like, pretty quickly. So, he's, he's just been, like, really fussy and irritable ever since his shots. And, like, just being so mean. Like, the ladies at the counter at, at the doctor's office... They were trying to like talk to him. He just, he was just giving him like a stale face. Like he just did not care. He wasn't interested. So um, he's just been like that the entire day so far until he got to my grandparents' house and he saw my sister. And whenever he sees my sister, he just gets excited and he's just so mesmerized by her and she's mesmerized by him as well. So it's it's cute we're back home and i think i'm gonna close this vlog out because i do have to start another vlog because i have things to do this weekend as well and so yeah i will see you guys next time bye